Is this on yet? Okay. Hello all you YouTube chopper pilots. Today we're going to look at my latest creation. I just got fired up three days ago. I haven't even turned the pipes blue yet. Still riding around, tightening up stuff. Are you ready? Okay, here it is. There it is. It's a 1967 shovel head. Sold brand new at Dudley Perkins, San Francisco, 1967, Summer of Love. It's an FL dresser. Uh, original owner, bought it, rode it till 76, sold it to my buddy Dave, chopped it in 77 with Frisco chopper parts. Um, I didn't meet Dave till 83. We were riding partners. When his back went bad, I wound up buying it from him. It was a uh, yellow cab yellow. Had a different tank, and sissy bar, and seat, and all that stuff, stuff on it. And I just redid it from a bare sandblasted frame and split flywheels back up. And I even have a collectible Dudley Perkins, 75 years in business, San Francisco, 1989. That was the year of the earthquake. Yeah, it's a Paco frame. It's mostly 67 Harley parts that I've reconditioned, and it's vintage Paco parts. Um, one of the good, well, the, the frames Paco, the back fender, and the oil tank. That's a wraparound horseshoe oil tank for electric start. This bike still has its original electric start with it, as well as kick. And another rare Paco piece is this thing right here. A diamond tin outer primary cover set up for electric start. 67 was also the last year for the mousetrap setup. I put the mousetrap back on it. My friend Dave, when he sold me the bike, he gave me parts and the mousetrap was in it. I haven't decided what to do with these yellow spark plug wires yet. Uh, one guy suggested maybe leaving them because it used to be a yellow bike, but I may put red ones on it or I may do some stainless steel ones that'll shock my leg. I don't know. Anyhow. This has been a coronavirus build and it took a little longer than I thought because the machine shop got shut down. The paint shop was a little slow. The chrome shop, I used Paul's plating in Pennsylvania, they got shut down. This is original old chopper light. I rewired all the guts inside. They had to get it all re-chromed, rewired the generator light, the headlamp indicator, and I put a toggle switch for high-low headlights in there. It's a 67 front end, drum brake. People say, Oh, what'd you put the moon hubcap on it? You think it's a dresser or something? It's like, well, it's a dresser chopper. It's a dropper. Uh, the Billy Bikinese rider had that, so I think it's okay to have that. Um, I re-chromed the old original 1977 pipes. And um, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but I got kind of a hidden mounting system on them there. You can't really see those clamps hanging down, can you? No. Swap meat parts on here include this gas tank I got at a swap meet in Seattle around 92. <clears throat> These two running lights came from a swap meet in Yakima with my buddy Chuck and Dane and Stacy and them. We all went to a swap meet in Yakima. I think that was the spring of 81. I got those for five bucks. Oh, and the sissy bar is a swap meet thing. Um, since that's electric start, I also put double horns on it, but they're hidden. You can't see them anywhere. You don't think they're on there? Well, it's like, well, you just turn this on. And you... Here's a rewired horn button. Pretty loud, huh? Anyhow, for people texting on their phones and crap, that ought to wake them up. Here's how the mousetrap works. 1967 was the last year for this mousetrap. They went to the mousetrap eliminator solid clutch cable in 1968. So that's a rare part. Uh, I had to find the clutch actuating arm down in there. It's a special one because it's electric start to mousetrap. Found that on eBay and chromed it. Then when I was talking to my buddy Dave about how I was still looking for a rod, he said, is it a long skinny rod about as big around as a pencil with a knob on one end, a little flat spot? And I said, yeah. He started laughing. He said he's got it in his bench drawer in his garage. So he sent that to me. So I've got its original parts back together. Anyhow, I guess that's about it. 
that's what you got so far we'll uh, make some riding videos later I've got a lot of riding videos on the 74 chopper but it's uh, suicide clutch and jockey shift so it's easier to film I'm going to figure out a way to film while I'm riding this one yeah here's one of those old gas cap toppers I sent that off to Paul's plating it's probably five thousand dollars to get that re-chromed but it had road rash on it and dings and crap so it's all back to normal I didn't re-chrome everything on here um, number one I couldn't afford to number two I left a few things with its original patina like this kicker cover that's 1977 chrome that Dave did I did re-chrome uh, little pieces around the spring leg stuff and the push rod covers are still original 67 chrome chrome's a little thin on them but as long as it wasn't popping or rusting I left it anyhow that's the new chopper it's gonna be riding around in Milwaukee right now thanks for watching I know this is a long video it's over six minutes a lot of people probably wouldn't sleep by now check you later